joining me on my program once again. I appreciate you wherever you are joining me from. I say good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Accept my greeting according to your time zone. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please kindly subscribe to my channel. Click the notification bell so that you'll be notified each time I upload a video. You can be among the first to receive it. Then go to the comment section at all time. Leave your comment, drop your contribution. If you have suggestions, make it out there. If you have any criticism, put it down on the comment section. It will make us to get better. Presenting you a better program. Thank you so much. And they will tell you to go back to your zone. Go back to where you come from. And we are saying that the country is not one. Yet, it is hard for you that call yourself will be dead. Hard for you to believe. They tell you every day that you are not part of this contraption you are not but they tell you every day go back to your home go back they tell you you are not supposed to participate in the election because you are not part of the country that is what they're telling you they are preventing you to cast your vote in lagos because you are not a part of their country and you blame them did you blame them there was one of the one of the video I saw where 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 uh, uh, P2B was explaining certain things. I don't know who he said confronted him. Where they sent him a text message, a text message that Tunubu people were circulating. Tunubu was circulating a text message to his own followers, telling them that do not vote Peter Obi. If you vote Peter Obi, that the Biafran people, the Igbo people, will have a seaport. You give them a seaport, give them an airport, and when you give them a seaport and airport, they will not be coming to the southwest again. They will not be coming to Lagos. They will retire back and begin to develop their own area. And when they develop their own area, all the income that are coming in Lagos will dry up. For that, do not vote to him. This was an internal campaign that we're doing. The same people who are doing this inside, inside, they know that these are the right thing to do. They know that that right thing, and because of that, they are still holding you down. And every one of you is still walking around pretending not to know. You have tried it. Just like Mazen Nan, they're going to give you the opportunity when you fail that you know everything. He tell you, go, contest. The last opportunity was given to the Mazen Nan, they And this time around, we said, Biafra will not participate. If you want to participate, go to Lagos. And those of them that went to Lagos and were so many places, you saw what happened to them. Go to media today, you see them crying, sharing tears. Yeah, welcome, my beloved brother, Ifan Yimora. Thank you so much for joining. Happy Sunday from here. Okay. I wish you the best, my brother. Can you hear me, Yes, I can hear you. Yeah. Good afternoon from me. You're welcome. Good afternoon, my brother. Thank you for joining. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you so much. I just, I just joined. The world's the topic. You're yeah, welcome. Thank you. What's the topic? Yeah, we are saying... I'm discussing about what is playing out now. After all, whatever we have told them in the past about the situation of Nigeria and how Nigeria will never stand nor succeed, how election can never better their life, how election can never bring a change, and they never believe you. Believe us. Finally, today, if they play and if they show, and all you will see is them crying foul on media and all that. So, finally, Every prophecy we have said, everything that Mazen Nanaka have preached, everything that Mazen Samaneka have said, they are playing out before their own very eyes. And the good guys, the people in the said, at least they have a place to fall back to. They are welcome back. Thank you, my brother. That is what we are discussing now. So, what do you think about what is playing out now? After all the warnings, yes. Here are we. You know, my brother, you know, um, uh, there's a difference between advising. And when you're advising a foolish person and when you're advising somebody that uh, that is uh, uh, not foolish, it's two different things. And uh, the most difficult uh, person is not just uh, somebody that is ignorant due to maybe the person does not have the knowledge of know-how or what is happening around him or knowledge of uh, his environment. The worst person that you can interact with or deal with, deal something with somebody that uh, that uh, has this knowledge that, that that thinks that he has the knowledge or educated or learned, but at the same time that person is a fool because he refused to to he refused to recognize or to see what is in front of him or her. Are you getting it? 
he refused yeah. to admit the situation or to accept the fate of what one Nigeria holds for him or her. That's the worst person that you can you can deal with. We were on space the other day. I was I was telling them that the worst person to argue with is a fool because a fool will have a black color in his hand or her hand, and at the same time, they will tell you that this black color will turn to white. That you shouldn't say that this black color will remain black forever. No, that this black color, by the time we keep on painting it black, by the time we keep on painting it black, perhaps by chance or miracle, the black will turn to white. That is what thinking that continuous recycling of these same people, the same clique of criminals in the same system that supports their criminality, that perhaps with miracle all of a sudden, miracle will happen. This is madness. This is somebody being insane. This is somebody being unreasonable. This is somebody playing with his life because you're gambling with your future and that of your children. I. I, I told the people I met that the worst thing you would do is to plant your destiny in Nigeria. If you plant your destiny in Nigeria, no matter how much you water it, it will die. Exactly. It will never yield any fruit. The same people that attacked us, five of our countries, that I, I created in Twitter was all blocked during this election period. What I did to them, I can't explain. Just, just because we are preaching the gospel of truth, that this status quo cannot stand. This thing, this structure cannot lead the Biafrans anywhere, or any Nigeria, anybody that believes that is a Nigerian. It cannot lead you anywhere. Rather, it will bring doom both for you and your children. This is not just, it is for economic uh, translation. We will say, okay, let's just beat the whole thing. Let's do it as uh, survival of the fittest. But something is behind it. There's a cop, there's a skeleton in the cupboard. There's a, there's a life threatening issue in this whole country nation of one Nigeria. That some, some persons have the interest of this one Nigeria because they are coming to take your hometown. They are, they are coming to take your land. Not mainly because of the election. We know that this normally, this is a routine. It's not new to me. It's not a surprising thing to me. I'm not surprised at the people and um, some printing, at the people snatching ballot box, at the people shooting, at the police. It's not, it's not new. This is an abomination that has happened over time, and now it has become a culture. It has become a way of life within Nigeria. And you, that is a learned person, you that say that you are that you are an intellectual. One man said that you cannot be a Nigerian and you become a you will be an intellectual at the same time. So he said no, that these two cannot work. Is either you in Nigeria or you are an intellectual? Because once you're in Nigeria, you cannot reason. You cannot reason. You cannot differentiate from your right and your left. You cannot make it make decisions on your own. It's very pathetic. It it it, it boils down in my it turns my stomach when somebody that is born and brought up in this country. We were on space the other day with Odogu with Simon Epa. A foreigner. I, 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 we are you on that space? Yeah, I was there. I was there. Yeah, I was there. You were on that space. A foreigner that called himself a doctor. Because why we were tagging all this Western world and their media houses? Your interest will not be raised above the life of the people. But in Africa, the reverse is the case. The interest of the West in the land of Africa, in the land of Biafra, 
is lifted above the life of every living thing walking on the surface of Africa. If you are going to stand in the way of these people from getting mineral resources, mm. getting gold, getting oil, getting all these things, they can do anything. Anything. They can go to the extent of praising the devil to make you a bad person. Simon Ebamazinam, they can have been blackmailed. IPOB media warriors have been blackmailed simple because they have chosen to play the game of truth. That is why all the world powers bring out their arsenal and they channel it on the people that have come out to speak the truth. But we are not deterred. It's not today that we know the good book, which is the scripture, made us to know that once you stand on the side of the truth, you will be attacked. Everybody will believe you. But one thing remains sure that have never changed over time. That the truth that you speak today will stand there and speak for himself in the next one million years. Absolutely. Truth never died. Never. Truth never died. When Ojuku started, started this course, that this recycling of Nigeria is killing my people in the north. That the Biafrans are the only people that is used as the lamb of sacrifice to keep Nigeria one. That he cannot watch his people being killed to keep Nigeria one like this. Let's go to Aburi and discuss the way we will live. If Nigeria will only be built on the altar of Biafra being the lamb for sacrifice, I cannot sign to this. And what happened after the agreement? Britain knows that from the day one they amalgamated Nigeria, you already planted the seed of rigging, the seed of corrupt system, because they themselves are the most corrupt. There's that article I saw on the media. I don't know if you saw it. I saved it in my phone. The queen, the late queen, that's the celebration. He was given, he, she was given a, a, a presentation. And she started to narrate people that have enriched themselves from Africa. He said that Abraham become whatever he is as the father of the whole nation. His riches come from Africa. He said Isaac, his riches come from Africa. He said even Yehoshua, Jesus, have to run to Africa to be protected. For safety. He mentioned a lot of persons that Africa have filled, but he refused to mention one thing. But the only thing I drive that from all these things that she read out is that that nobody should blackmail them, that nobody should lay a fee accusing finger on them, that they are not the only people that are milking that have milked or are still milking Africans dry. That this is a collective effort to keep Africa very poor and to keep Nigeria the way it is, not to be a viable state, to be where people will be behaving like animals. I was watching what they were doing yesterday, my brother. I feel like, like disappearing from here. It's so sorry, my brother. It's so, it's so sad. So if shameful. It possible, if it is possible that I will just change the the, 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 the West is, no, is, no, is not more superior than we are. After all, we are the original people of the Earth. But yesterday, I feel like changing my skin like, just like this guy did. Um, uh, what is that? His name, Michael Jackson. 
Now I begin to understand why Michael Jackson did what he did. Of course. He's ashamed of the race and the way the people that he was born into, the way blacks are raised. That's right. He's ashamed. And he decided to take his own destiny into his hand. Because he cannot just say it verbally that Africa, I detest you people. He has to do it because they said action speaks louder Loud. than voice. So, my brother, and every listener, we Africans, we are the problem of the world. We have have so accept evil and oppression to live with, with it. Let me tell us, your oppressor will never leave you. Your never. oppressor enjoys it when he oppresses you. Your oppressor enjoys it when he or she bullies you. It's just like the, the witch. A witch rejoices whenever you are in pain. And he or she will come to pity with you and to console you. And at the same time, you he will get the, the tips from you to know where you're still breathing. You say, he's still painting me from my hand here. Is this, is this left hand that uh, this is where the pain was mostly? But I thank God I can still use my right hand. You will say, eh, you're still using your right hand. <laughs> You will say, thank God that you're still using your right hand, but you will go out and then slit that right hand. He didn't want you to use any. He didn't want you to break from any way. The only thing, if you don't fight your oppressor, your oppressor will never leave you. It's either we get it now or we remain slave forever. If we don't get it now, is either now or never. So those people that shouted obedience, you will see how all these things will turn out. It doesn't start today. It did not start today. It has happened over time. And you will say, hey, don't, don't worry. That is the only thing the media will tell you. Just don't <laughs> worry. And uh, Tinubu Atiku have assumed office. Let's just give him this uh, grace of eight years. Can you imagine? Impunity. Somebody that doesn't have the mandate of the people have just assumed office. Mm. Self-imposed on the people by powers that be. And the, the only thing you that should seek the country and say, this country will not move an inch until this imposter comes down from there and it will happen the way you commanded because the power really belongs to the people <laughs> but instead of nigerians waking up or biafas waking up siege all the entrance exit gate anywhere that vehicle legs walk come out from your house you siege it the tyranny will stop. They will not do that. Rather, what a Nigerian, average Nigerian will tell you is God. You just believe that what God cannot do does not exist. You will have been fooled. Abaranyo Safiana Africa. Our on your safia to the extent that we cannot reason, but not people like IPOB and their friends. Many of us are Christians, which I am a proud Christian. Okay. But my faith has not made me to be dumb. My faith has not made me to be a fool. My faith has. That's something I was analyzing yesterday. I wanted to come to this place and discuss it with my people before I noticed that my account after the space that we had that my account had been frozen again. That's something I begin to ask myself. I said, okay, 
this whole thing that is happening, the Christians are there. I ask myself, all these are our leaders, religious leaders, know that number one, that your religion is not protected by the same constitution that you want endorsed in this election. Yeah. If I'm taking too much time, you let me know. No, it's okay. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Okay. Um, that this one Nigeria of a thing does not protect your religion. That's your bishop. That's your Catholic church. That's your Anglican church. That's your Pentecostal church, whatever coronation name that you give to it. That the constitution that you're advising your members to go and vote will be, vote Atiku, vote Tinubu, make sure you're not defranchised. Make sure you lay, you make your vote to count. The constitution, the foundation, the, because once you're going out to vote, what you're endorsing is the constitution of Nigeria. The 1999 constitution, isn't it? Because that is yeah. the bedrock of everything that Nigeria is practicing. Exactly. So when you're advising your people, go and vote. It's your civic right. It is your civic right. But they are right. They don't have right to live. They don't have right that Fulani should not kill them. You have never for once come out to shout the way you shouted during this election mm -hmm. when it's coming. That is the right of my members. It is the right of my people. These people are the sheep, the sheep that have been put in my hand as the shepherd. I will give account of these people. You've never campaigned. You've never for once. You, you've never done thing before. The, the only thing that is your concern is because this same constitution that you see that the Africans are kicking against and the strong of one Nigeria, the way Nigeria is doing structures that are killing everybody that believes in it. The way it's structured is putting food, is actually putting food on your table. Mm. Because Christianity has played two roles in the life of the Nigerians. The life of the people that find themselves in this construction. Two roles. One, is that, they, that it has made them to be more relaxed in their trouble. That's right. It has made them to stop feeling pain. Because when your brother is being raped or kidnapped by the full and he raped and you pay ransom at the end of the day, you see the dead body. The pastor will tell you, my brother, this is the will of God for you. <laughs> if God did not assign this, your brother will not die. Many people yeah. have gone this way and come back. Even when he died out of the <laughs> This is wickedness. This is satanic. You said, and I quote, we all believe in Yahweh Yeshua. Who died to redeem us? He came to redeem us from the internal domination, from the internal condemnation, from the slavery of sin. Are you getting my point now? Yeah. From the slavery of sin. And, and a group of persons have risen up, championed by Mazen Namdekana, to deliver you from the physical slavery of the Fulani and in extension Britain. You kicked against that person that has come to liberate you that you will have a mind of your own. <laughs> that you will have a say of your own. That you can decide and meet your president or meet your senator or meet your local government chairman and tell him this road was awarded to you and up to now you've done nothing. What did you do with the money that was allocated to you for this construction? You kicked again. Somebody that is working that you have a good hospital when you will not be dying before your time. Many deaths 
that is happening in Africa and in Nigeria, especially, especially is not because God wants to kill us. The same right. God that you always say that is His will said, I will protect you. I, in the book of Isaiah, I will preserve you till your great heads. Till your great heads. He said he will preserve you to your grave. And he will not only do that. He said in the book of Psalm, he said that he did not, that you will not die but live to declare his words yes. in the land of the living. But now something is killing you not to be able to declare the word mm. of God in the land of the living. And they are quickly sending you to the land of the dead where, where it's full of silence. The people of the dead are they are silent there. You, they cannot speak. They cannot tell you that the government is bad. They can't tell you that the government is good. Never. They can't tell you people that are doing good. They can't tell you people that are doing bad. Many destinies have been silenced and sent to the place of quietness forever and ever. Because of this right. structure that you're protecting. Then I ask myself, what is it difficult for these so-called leaders and these people that so much believe in religion, for them to, to open up and say the truth that the Bible says that you will know the truth and it's only the truth will set you, will set you free. Jesus come into the temple and he used, he used stick to chase away those people that are selling in the temple. To chase them away. But today you can find it difficult, those people that are merchandising with your people, that are making merchandise of your people. Because so long as I'm concerned, you see all Nigerians, they are marketable commodity to the political elite. The political elite are the managers. They are the managers of the commodity. But the original owner, the CEO of the business are the Britain. That's right. Of the business. Are you getting me? So for them to protect the status quo as the big boys, because these are the things that have been used to elude Africa. If they will have pick the most corrupt and the most poisonous minds among you, and they will elevate them to the world of luxury. 